Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just thought I'd give a quick update today, just a short update on what's happening. So, well, yeah, if you've been following on this latest build, we've been doing a, um, a MSI B450 uh, motherboard with AMD Reason 2600 CPU. Uh, we we put the uh, the fan, the DDR, and um, we put a 1660 Super graphics card in there we got windows on and we we did some bios tweaks and we did some windows tweaks so yeah and i've just been running this for a couple days now um just got a 1660 super on there and a 3070 uh msi 3070 uh i think it's a ventus um so that's running quite nicely and now i just sort of just I've just put it on the uh, table there on a riser, um, but I do like to try and just make sure they're saying propping up. So I've, I've just got it leaning against there to keep it stable. So just, yeah, just to, I just really wanted to get the rig running for a couple of days, make sure it's all stable. Um, you can see here, um, the 37 is running just over 62 mega hash, um, 118 watts, and the 1660 Super is just below 30 mega hash. So, so yeah, it's been running pretty stable for a couple of days now. Um, so yeah, what my plan is um, today is um, just, I'm just building a, a, a frame for it. So, and look, one I'm trying something new today. Um, be good to, to sort of share this and get some feedback. But up to now, I've built all my rigs. On a sort of a single tier frame um, so yeah we've got this one over here um, we've got this rig um, running on a single tier tier frame and then I've got my I call it my Titan rig with I've got I think nine cards here uh, just to go through it we've got, got four 2060 supers a uh, it's, that's a 3060 uh, 12 gig there. That's the Nerf version, so not the full limited hash rate version. So we got the the 4070.05 driver running on that. We got a 1660 Super three fan there. We got a three fan uh, EV GA 3070, and we got a 2060 and a 1660 Super on the end. And again, I've been running that on a I guess a single level. Um, a frame so I've seen you know just some of the you know videos around like uh, I think Red Fox um, and um, Red Panda Mining those guys that have been you know using these um, uh, dual uh, level frames like 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 double decker frames so so what I thought I'd try today and I'm, I'm just out here at the moment um, got, got the tools out um, is I'm going to try and build a, a two level frame so so yeah what I've got here if I just pop that up carefully if that will stay there um, so yes yeah, so I'm just building this at the moment I just, like, so, so I've just started building the initial frame so you can see there I've just um, built some initial frame there and what I'm going to do then is run um, some uh, an aluminium angle uh, across uh, across here um, so I'm gonna put one down there and one up here um, sorry it's a bit too close uh, um, so I'm gonna have two levels and then I'm gonna run a um, piece of wood through the middle with a support for the riser through the middle so yes yeah, so I'm just gonna give this a try I'm gonna mock one up um, you know this is the first one so you know it might be the right um, dimensions it might not be but you know we'll, we'll get it up and running and um, yeah we'll have a look at the dimensions and then plan to build two of these so if this one's not perfect we can tweak it and look the good thing with wood um, you know it's easy to to trim so yeah so we'll give this a try and look for me um, I much prefer um, building my own rigs you know you can get down Bunnings pick up all the materials I need um, or you know even pick up um, pieces of wood on the on the um, you know around the neighborhood people throwing things away so so normally you know I'm building a frame probably cost wise I would say 20 to 30 dollars um, tops um, so uh, and you know that includes uh, the wood uh, piece of I, I like to use a um, aluminium angle angle at the top here the reason is, and what I found is, in particularly some of the blower style cards, but all the cards do exhaust fan out the front here. And you know, if you use a piece of wood, I often find you can, you know, even block the first half a centimeter. So I like to try and keep as much of the car breathing as it wants to as possible. So as you see this metal angle, it doesn't impede any of the um, flow out the back of the cards. Um, another little thing I've been doing recently as well. 
Um, sometimes just as a, a short term interim is, is actually I found using these cable ties are really handy for keeping the cards reasonably secure in. Basically the card can't really move around too much and it keeps it reasonably secure. So um, two reasons I'm using them. Sometimes it just works and I'm, I leave it there for long term or uh, you know it's, it's a quick fix. But sometimes I find I drill the screw holes a little bit too far in so the card doesn't quite sit properly. So um, you know you might be able to see here so the screw hard probably did it a little bit too far in so when the card's sitting nice and flush it's not quite enough room there to get a screw in so i find the cable ties uh drop in there quite nicely the only thing i do find I put some exhaust fans on the front um just trim this up the bottom of the cable ties so yeah so so anyway so i just give you guys a quick update what's happening here today and um i'll um you know i'll, I'll get back out with the uh with the saw and the hammer and we'll try and get this um you know double story frame up and running and we'll, you know we'll get these couple of cards on and a few more and yeah see what hash we can pump out so yeah th thanks for watching guys appreciate any comments any any thoughts or feedback on you know going from a single story frame to a double story frame um one thing i am conscious of is heat rises so I'm interested to see if I have cards on top of each other, whether there's any impact from the heat on the bottom to the top row. Again, I'm gonna blow air through, so hopefully that will avoid that. But again, it's kind of a learning. Um, I don't know if anyone has, uh, has had that experience in you know, single to, to double story frames. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate likes, feedback, comments, tips, um, anything you got, um, chuck it in. And um, yeah, we'll be back soon uh, with another update. Thanks guys for watching.